What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my strategy for the spring cleaning mission. Um, that's on the Act 3 story mission, uh, story of um, Line Warfare Zombies. Um, so this is the one where you have to go in and clear the infested stronghold in the high threat zone. I thought this was an awful um, mission just because tier 3 zone is just so tough to stay alive in. So basically my strategy was to clear out this infested stronghold that's kind of on the edge of tier 3 and it works because it's on the edge of tier 3 basically. The strategy is to do little by little and uh, once you get into um, a hairy situation to just run away and let all the zombies run away as well. Hey, thankfully there's a zip line that's right well, here. You know what triggered this um, last time. So what I'm gonna do is zip line over, knock out a couple orbs or cysts, I guess is what they're called. And then as soon as zombies come, I just run away back over here, zip line over, and then keep doing that. Um, I just found this way to be the only sure way of doing it solo. Um, I'm sure there's more efficient ways because I mean this is very inefficient because you can only stay in for you know a minute maybe before it starts being a bunch of tier 3 zombies and it's just it's impossible to kill those tier 3 zombies even with a double pack a punch gun that's purple um it's still just hard to take them down especially if there's multiple and then especially if there's special zombies so I would basically just keep swimming back here, reload, and then zip line over as soon as uh, as soon as they go away. So I basically just keep doing this over and over again. It takes a while, uh, but I just really didn't want to die and have to lose all of my stuff. Um, so if there's a zombie right there, then I would go downstairs, go in, try and knock him out. Wow, I really did not take any chances here. Um, yeah, feel free to fast forward throughout the video, but this is basically what I do the whole time. Not a whole lot to it. Oh, I guess another tip that I did not implement in here is to have the um, the perk where you can see uh, depth perception have depth perception per perk that would really be helpful because then you don't have to uh, look everywhere you can just see it through the walls so I would have depth perception perk on I mean having a three plate armor vest would be nice um, jug would be nice as well um, it really just takes patience, you know, don't try and do all of it at once because if you do, I feel like you're just going to die because if you get stuck in here with a bunch of zombies, you're just going to die. At least, unless you have maybe a triple pack a punched gun or like a ray gun or something, but even for a double pack a punched purple, it's really hard to take out these zombies, especially if there's a bunch of them. So I would just go little by little, wait for them to run away, and then zip on back over. Just keep repeating this and then eventually you'll get it. So, um, the rest of the video is just me doing that exactly, so... If you want to watch the rest of it, go for it, but that's the, uh, the gist of it. Alright, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. See ya.
sure this is a special occasion. Mask up! Now! Here's a buy station. Every piece of Ethereum and fused weaponry we have down here is the target. Dr. Johnson, you'll be seeing the resulting data. I hope she finds it useful. 